Oh no! What was that? I pressed Y instead of uh, <laughs> instead of F. Well, at least you landed on the uh, the drills. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's why I guess it's good to have that many drills. <laughs> Jesus. How much damage did they take? They didn't take any damage. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty robust. As long as it mean it lands on a flat surface. So, okay, get out yeah. of there. Yeah. <laughs> Dinkin' guy. Hello, once again, uh, Hal and I are in Space Engineers, uh, down on the planet surface. And um, I was just out mining, and I realized that uh, I need some stone ejected from this giant beast, and Hal is the guy to figure out how to get it done. <laughs> so. All right, so we have a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do it manually, which I do not recommend if you're doing large quantities. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little auto thing. So if you come over here to the uh, refinery area, show you what we're gonna do of course you know we've been in game for like a couple of hours at this point been sunlight the entire time we start recording and of course sun goes down <laughs> yeah <laughs> is true so did i grab the no i did not grab the parts let me grab parts really quick and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a sorting block with an ejector well it'll be a connector that's set up to eject parts and what that will do there we go. Got all the parts. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and so what, what this will do is it'll allow you to have a system set up that will keep um, everything from basically getting convoluted more than it needs to. So for the folks that are playing along at home, so you can see what we're doing here, when you're placing sorters, you'll see a small arrow on one side. Well, it's on you know, the four sides, showing you which direction that the sorting filters will work. So we want to have it set so that the sorting filter is going to basically exit the container. So we have it set so the arrow is pointing away from the container, just like so. And then we put a connector on here. And then the connector has a setting that says collect all. And we're going to be using that functionality, but before we turn that particular feature on, we want to set the sorting block to only allow certain things to come through. So you come into the, the you know, into the system somewhere, go over to your control panel and look for your sorting block. Right. Uh, I'm going to add the words stone ejector, hopefully spelled correctly. <laughs> And then if you scroll down, there's going to be a filter mode that, that sets blacklist or whitelist. We actually want to use whitelist. So uh, for those who may not know, blacklisting says anything but these items can go through. Whitelisting says only these items can go through. And what we're going to do is we're going to say we only want it to grab stone. So you scroll down through this wonderful long list of things under the filters. You select it, hit add, and that's all you have to do. Come back over to your control panel. Um, I am going to change this connector to also say stone ejector. Now I have a tendency of doing this with all of my builds that I do this type of thing, just so it makes it a little easier to find it. Because when you're looking at you know something that has 15 connectors on it, you want to know which one you're actually trying to get. Very true. So, so now we're going to go collect all. If you look in the inventory for it, it should pull the stone. Did I not? Ah, oh, there's no stone in the system right now. Haha. -ha. There will can be. You, uh, can you do me a favor and grab a little bit of stone and throw it into the other connector? Sure. You're uh, crouching. Crouched. <laughs> yeah. Game, <laughs> uncrouch. Thank you. Uh. So, yeah, so you grab some stone, I'll grab some stone. And you're probably going to have to turn your ship back on. Right. There we go. He did an emergency park job. Yeah. So we're going to grab a little bit of stone out of here. There we go. Two million stone. That's a lot of stone. Yep. 
All right, and then just as, just as a test to make sure it's working, if you could grab some as well, please. I've got and some. Throw it in here. I'll just put it in this upper one over here. Sure. Okay, so you saw me drop off eh, 9k of stone, right? Come over here. Hey, look, there's my 9k of stone, and then Adrian just added some more stones. We've got 12k of stone sitting here. Okay, so that's telling us it's working the way we want it to. Now, before you turn this thing on, step to the side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. we're going to go back into control panel. Once you're sure everything is working, you're going to turn on the button that says throw out. And that's what it does. And that's all the stone out of the system. But there'll be a lot more in a moment. Oh, yeah. So um, because of what he is doing, I'm actually going to dig us a small hole over here so that it doesn't basically scatter across the, the ground. And we need to turn off the auto builders from picking stuff up. Actually, because the auto builders will also try to pick stuff up. So we set it to help others. And it's set to ignore. That's good. That way, if we turn them back on, we don't have to worry about them trying to pick up the stone that the system is ejecting. Okay, so now that he is connected, this thing should start pulling stone out. Yeah, once it starts, once it's finished with probably everything else as well, I'll just check its inventory. The, refi the refineries grab the stone first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more. Uh, it's not really being brought out of this ship for some reason. Yeah. Uh, I'm not... S I'm actually not seeing your, uh, your ship connected. Oh, it's because it's not connected. Oh, okay. Um, need don't need to lock the connector. There you go. Okay. And then if we look at the connector, the connector oh, yeah, should now go. be full. Yeah, it is so, pulling it out. Yep. Awesome. Time empty. Oh. And the refineries is going to, basically the refineries are going to keep trying to uh, pull the stone out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the refineries off. That's a good idea. That way they stop processing the stone while the stone is being pulled out of the system. Yeah. So what I've actually started doing when I when I know I'm going to be doing a lot of mining now is I actually build. So you know how you have the, the inlet up there, the connector at the mm -hmm. top? I'll put a sorting block in, or I'll, I'll have it like a, a cargo container there. Okay. And then on the other side of the cargo container, I'll have a sorting block that actually won't let the um, stone go into the system. It stops at the, the uh, container. Oh, yeah. And then from the container, I'll have another, basically a, a setup like this to pull the, eject, to, uh, pull the stone out. Yeah, that's a good setup. So the stone never goes into the system unless you want it there, because you can turn off the uh, the sorter. So perfect. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Yeah. Basically, I was just out mining iron. I got uh, seven hundred. Well, basically eight hundred thousand of it. So we're good for that for a little while. Yes. As soon as, now, uh, did you want to tell the folks what we were? The other thing we were talking about doing. Going into space. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, we've been preparing to launch ourselves into space. Space with uh, this thing. So Hal has spent a bunch of time gathering up the resources to set up a small base uh, for us. So we'll... Uh... Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's basically, it'll be a reactor assembler. And uh, that's about it. Yeah. Oh, but it's a, and it's a, refinery. a refinery. It's a good first trip, though. Yeah. Oh, in a large cargo container. Basically, the stuff we absolutely positively have to have. Yeah. Did I just grab? I only grabbed 100, didn't I? Crap. Let me grab some more plates. Okay. There we go. Okay, so... Now, we actually have an oxygen generator on the ship, so we don't have to worry about burning O2 while we are up there. 
we just have to worry about what we're taking with us. Yeah. Uh, That's lucky you health. <laughs> yeah. I just needed to uh, heal myself. I ran a little bit too fast into one of the uh, components on the roof. <laughs> oh, no worries. Okay. So, now with the amount of stone that thing's pulling out of there, we're, it's going to be going for a little while. So, when we come back, we'll be able to turn the refineries back on and uh, not worry too much about it. Yeah. Did you close the outer door? I did not. I will right, we'll do it now. Ah, there you go. Okay, and uh, <laughs> close that. And now, this I guess... is going to be interesting because I, I haven't tested with this much mass on the ship yet. Um, so, this may be a very, very short flight. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Turn our lights on. Reactors are on. We've got 214 days of power. That's good. And do we have enough lift? We do have enough lift on just atmospheric. Woo. Okay. All right. We'll see how well this goes. So we're just going to basically go up nice and level. Take a look around here really quick. Make sure we are okay for power. We've got a bunch of materials on us. And we are in gravity well still, which you know is to be expected. If I get out of my seat, is that going to be a problem? It shouldn't be. We just remember, we don't have a gravity generator. So if you do it when we get into zero G, you oh. could go plop. Yeah. So okay. did you notice I did um, actually install TVs for you? There's a uh, little LCD panels ab above your uh, your chair. Huh. Cool. <laughs> I'll join you back up there in a moment. Oh, did you fall out? Yeah. I'm on my way back to the planet's surface at 100, 100 meters a second, so... Ah. Uh, I can hear the wind rustling. Yeah, you have rustling. to be careful getting in and out of the ships when they're moving, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have actually hit the um, maximum altitude of the atmospherics. Oh, I died again. It's okay, you can respawn up here. You want me to, to stop moving so you can respawn safely? Yes. Okay, we're holding. Oh, why is it doing that? <laughs> oh. Okay. I can probably get to the ship in time. Hope so. And the other side. Other side. <laughs> or you can just stand on the roof, you know. Awesome. Don't forget ah. to close the door behind you. Uh, ah, no worries. Okay. Did I close the other door? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doors, the other door's closed. Okay. Uh, I'm good to go. <laughs> okay. Off we go. Whew. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Uh... You know it's what's like, sad though? What? Do you uh you don't have the hydrogen and oxygen tanks with you? I know. I have extras. I have a extra of each, so. Yeah. That's alright, I'll just stay in the ship when we're up there. Alright. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh, what's going Hang on? on. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. Oh, uh, What's really scary is I'm not sure we're going to make it into orbit. Huh. Awesome. All the extra mass is uh, adding a lot, of, a lot of drag to the ship. Okay. Well, seems like we have plenty of fuel. So uh, we we're down to 51. We're burning about 1% every other second. So. Oh, yes, I see. Wow. This is going to be close. Yeah, because I guess we just need to get to um, 
sufficiently low enough gravity that the ion thrusters can deal with it, yep. right? Yeah, let's see if we can... Well, I don't have ion thrusters on it because we don't have platinum. Right. Okay. Have you doomed us uh, all? <laughs> Are we doomed? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, we know that the atmosphere has enough thrust to keep us up, so I'm not that worried. It'll just be one that we get back into the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All well, right. But it's regenerating hydrogen now, so... Yeah, it's, I was trying to get up high enough that we could uh, let it coast a little bit. Yeah. But I don't think this is going to be enough. But we have more ice, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just that the uh, the oxygen generators are very, very inefficient as far as the speed at which they produce. Right. So for a ship like this, I really should have had like five or six of them instead of just the two that we're using. Well, it can be re-engineered. It can be. I feel like we're going to make it. We might, we might, but that's okay. We're in point three, yeah. and we are decelerating slowly, more slowly. Yeah, yeah, and the hydrogen is getting higher every time, like we do your cycle of thrusting. Yeah. It would be a fun ride. It'll be interesting. Yeah, we should be okay. We're at 19K. As long as the altitude continues to climb, that's all we care about. Yep. Oh, and it starts to drop. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, the ship seems engineered well enough to be able to uh, quite easily handle this, so... I'm glad it worked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's good. R remind me to uh, re-engineer the fuel system a little bit. I'll have to add another fuel tank or two. Yeah, yeah. Basically move that upper thruster. Fortunately, getting into atmosphere is usually much easier, so... Do we need to tip up or change our angle at all, or what's going on there? No, I'm, I'm keeping us level as far as the uh, planetary gravity is concerned so that we get out of the atmosphere as fast as possible. Okay. What I could probably do at this point is choose a direction and go forward, but that would end up burning a little extra fuel, and so... Right. You know, basically just to start increasing the angle between us and the planet. Right, yeah. Because once we get to... What is it? I think it's 32... Yeah, it's still like 32 right. or 32, 35, something like that. We should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Ha ha ha. It was just a little bit sketchy there for a moment or two, but. Yeah, well, you know, it's not like I fell out of the ship or something. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I should have picked the other seat. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. See, because I the, the seat you're in, I think, was the one that Smore was using, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one we set up for the ejector seat. I, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't eject me, Hal. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, if it makes you feel better, at least we have 22 days of power on the uh, the reactor, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. And we have air to breathe, so... Yeah. As long as we have ice. Yeah. And ice is pretty common up in space. Oh, there's an asteroid up there. It looks like it has ice on its southern tip. Nice. Try not to lose track of that one. Which one? Where is it? Uh, hmm. as, as we slam into it. I guess it would be your, like, somewhere around your 2? Two, 2 o'clock? Uh, um, and... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see it. Uh, we actually have a small one almost directly above us. That okay. looks like we're going to go be going past. Oh, yeah, I see it, I think. Small brown one. Yeah. Um, coming in, at, it's uh, about mm, 10 o'clock. Directly in front of us. About 10 o'clock high. Yeah, I think so. I think that's... I can just barely see it still, so... Apparently I forgot to put a uh, retrograde thruster on this thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting. Okay. I thought you had thrusters of each type on all the angles. Don't have uh, ion because we don't have platinum. Platinum. 
But I mean, of the hydrogen, I thought I thought when I looked over it, that it looked all good to me. Yeah, see, I did too. Maybe something got stripped off when I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Gone crazy with that pink paintbrush, Hal. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, there's another big one sort of above us. Yep. Yeah, that was actually the one I was looking at. I wasn't the one that's like in front of us and a little bit high on like uh like around the two o'clock position. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't looking at that one before. Alright. Now the nice thing is, is if we really wanted to, we could actually build on those. Um but I am always sketchy about building on anything that's actually within the gravity well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because it's, it's kind of easy to uh, take a misstep. Yeah. Huh. All right, we are at 33,000 and uh, climbing. Got lots of One hydrogen. more quick boost. And that should get us to 35, and like I said, that should take us outside of the gravity well, I believe. Almost. Almost. So start picking out an asteroid that you want. <laughs> 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 or 0.7, um, so maybe it's 37,000 then. I'm always a fan of breathing air, so one with ice is always nice. Yeah, but... You know, there's a planet full of ice below us, so I'm not that worried about it. And we can always put in the um, the oxygen generators, the action, the oxygen farms. Mm hmm. You just put in like twenty of those, and you're fine. Hmm. What is this one? Uh, that's sort of. What would that be? Our five o'clock high. That five o'clock be... high. That might be oh, the big one, one like directly behind us. Yeah, that one seems kind of interesting. Um, some other ones that are neat or you know biggish. But that one's kind of maybe irregular or something. Yeah, we can take a look, see what's over there. Did I put an order detector on this? I thought I had an order detector on this. Hmm. I don't know if I can see an order detector. I'm not seeing one. I could swear I had one on here at one point, though. I'm blaming S'more. Yep. Yeah, you don't seem to have any upward-facing hydrogen thrusters, but I, I was certain you did before. Yeah. You had three of them, right. I think. Well, that's alright. We'll have to do a funny maneuver. Yeah, we'll just do this really quick. So, turn that off. Rotate like so. So that we don't have any uh, movement that we don't need. And... Whoa, that happened quick. Yeah. Can you tell I've had to do this before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, there's a screenshot. Alright. Okay, where did that... Big asteroid go. There it is. Uh, nope. We've got a couple of them behind us here. Talking about this one over here? Mm, that no. one? Uh, wait, wait a second. Uh, yes, that one. Alright, so... This is the nice thing about space travel. You don't burn any more fuel than you actually have to. Yeah. Yep. All right. I was gonna say I could actually fly out there and scout it out myself, but I don't have any extra tanks, so that's probably not a great idea. Yeah, well, you know, we're doing 50 meters a second. What is our time to stop? Zero seconds. That's not good reading. Yeah, no, that's pretty right. Ah, nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the, one of the nice things about it is that you can actually, uh, with the, everything that's set up, yeah, you you can fly without actually having a HUD turned on. Nice. 
All right, so we are going to have to do a little bit. Nothing. Yeah. It is quite a pretty view, though. Of the planet? The planet. Or just in Milky general. Way and... Yeah. Yeah. The moon. This should be about close enough. Yeah, this is close enough, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not too far out. All yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn off those thrusters. Actually, um... Let's leave those on. Did it eject you, you at the front? Huh? Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought it ejected you. Oh, dang. It ejected you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. I guess I'll just start exploring. Okay, so I'm going to kill these thrusters. And I'm going to use the escape patch as well. Uh, now we're going to do a little bit of exploring here, see what we can find resources. I'm heading towards the Earth on the asteroid. Okay. So up and over. Did we find, like, the one stone asteroid? I don't know. It's got a weird ball on the end. <sighs> I'm surprised there were no jokes said. Oh, wait, s'mores not here. <laughs> oh, ice! And... Nice. Uh, gold? What is that down there? Where are you? Uh, I don't know. I'm in the top of the ball thing. Ah, let's see where you are. This? That looks like nickel. Nice. And there's iron in here, That too. is nickel. We have nickel. You said there's iron? There's iron, and there's ice. So nickel, iron, and ice. And there is gold down there. So we base this is actually a uh, viable base area. Nice. We'll, go th we'd bur we'll burn through the ice really quickly if we're using hydrogen, but, you know, yeah. there's enough of it in the area. Yeah. But we're, because we're just looking for a place to set up a, uh, a way station. Oh, there's the gold. Nice. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's any uranium. I don't uh, think so, I think. Yep, there think is. We, no, this is silicon. Is there? Silicon. Uh, this is well, a lot silicone. of minerals for one asteroid. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, that also puts us at uh thirty-three. So, if, do you want to take us out? Um. Yeah. Sure. I just got to find the ship <laughs> first because. Uh. Where's the ship, Hal? Look for the oh, uh, there the antenna. I just kind of running low on oxygen here, so. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Just remember to close the uh, the outer door before you open the inner door, or else you're going to eject it into space. Right. Okay. <laughs> so let's take a quick screenshot here. Okay, well, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, joining us. It was it's been a blast for me, anyway. I just thought it was quite a fun trip. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our adventure into space and our... Whoa, what just happened? Oh, my grab boots. <laughs> yeah, we don't have gravity in there. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, there's Hal. There he is. Um, so yeah, we're going to make this probably our new uh, temporary <laughs> base. <laughs> and um, I think it'll be quite good. So, there he is. Hi, Hal. <laughs> um, so, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. And uh, be sure to go over to... Hal's channel and check out what he's got going on. He's got lots of Empyreon and Space Engineers and Seven Days and all kinds of good stuff. And, um, yeah, uh, pretty much that's it. <laughs> all right. If you're watching from my side, be sure to go pay a visit to Dredden as well. If you uh, don't know, he and I have done a few things in the multiplayer. We also hang out with S'more from time to time, but, uh, he definitely has a lot of good stuff over on his channel. He's also been doing a lot more uh, Seven Days to Die as well as getting back into Space Engineers. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So I need to close the other door. <laughs> so that I can ah, come yes. in. <laughs> oh, all right. So, yes, folks, if you're... Uh, Hope you have a fabulous day. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers.
as always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.